All right, Shocking Wizard fans, continuing with the anthology theme, here's one you probably haven't seen before. Scream Machine. Let's, let's check it out. Here's our horror host. I am your host, Dr. Crab. If you are seeing this transmission, then you are among the last living beings on the planet after the horrible Ebola epidemic. That His name is Dr. Gray. His co-host. Dr. Headley Gray. But you can call him Mr. Head for short. What the fuck? Who are you talking to? He introduces the first story called Sledgehammer. About a baseball pitcher with a fastball. Rumor has it this kid throws up to 150 miles an hour. Oh, oh, bullshit. No one in the history of the game has ever been able to even come close to throwing that fast. Here comes the sledgehammer. God, little brother? Oh, God. Fast forward two years later, he's now in the big leagues. And he has a stalker. He also has a wife. Honey. Who are you? What do you want? It's the scout. You kill my brother with your sledgehammer pitch. He is here to return the favor. Which leads us to our next story. The Jeffrey Dahmer obsession. Jeffrey, I love you so much. As soon as you get visitation rights, I'll be there. And his wife. Whatever. Why would I wait for your cracker ass? <sighs> God, only if I could just lose that bitch wife I have and one day just spend the rest of my life with you. Jeffrey, people just don't understand how beautiful you really are on the inside. Well, clearly he's homosexual. And he goes out to meet men. What do you say we get a hotel? I could use to miss a little work today. Sounds like you're my kind of man. My name's Steve. The moment of truth. I finally get to feel what it's like to be you. To experience all those beautiful things that you've done. You know he's a big guy, he's able to overpower him and just choke him to death. He's removing the head and then he's going to play with it. She found his letters to Jeffrey. But guess what happened that day? Well, he takes out his rage and his wife and kills her, and that's basically how our second story ends. Our third story isn't introduced. Right on, dude. He's gonna trip so hard. This is the guy they're gonna mess with. Hello? Hello? 
trying to put their plan in action. All right, listen up. Here's the deal. Everybody take a knife. Billy? Sweet. Put on your masks. So the plan is to scare him. Success. They basically terrorize him. He gets so scared that he takes a lot of coke and uh, ODs immediately. They decide to party with him, his body, but then they need money, so they decide to take the uh, gold and silver out of his teeth. But there's a problem. Fuck! Because there's only one fucking problem! They're fucking worthless! They're pointless! God damn! And that's how this story ends. Besides, I already checked your mouth. Incidentally, a breath mint wouldn't kill you. Yeah, I usually keep them in my shirt pocket. Well, that's right. I'm ahead, dumbass. Our fourth story is a couple at the doctor. Now watch closely here. Apparently, the doctor and his wife are in on something. That's some chloroform in her cleavage. And this is going to knock her husband out. Now, we dump the body in the septic tank out back. My wife can do the same company. The bones likely won't be discovered for years. So yeah, they took the dude and dropped him off in the septic tank. Where he is trapped. As you can see, he's not alone down there. The guy mentioned his ex-wife was down there also. He somehow finds a set of keys down there. And that causes a small explosion. And in the toilet in the house. And that's how this story ends. At least I hope not. The movie talks to her. The movie's real persistent to her. Seriously, kill him. Fucking cut his nuts off. In your purse is a knife. Do it. You know you want to. Eventually she listens. Craigslist things, too many weirdos out there. But call us if you do. Oh, 
Terms are bad. Son of a bitch. See you in the afterlife, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about Scream Machine. How did I get this movie? Well, uh, back in, I think it was 2016, the director of this movie um, contacted me and said, hey, could you review my movie, Scream Machine? He sent me a Vimeo link to it. I didn't have the movie in my collection at the time, uh, so which is usually one of my rules. I do not review something unless it's in my collection. But I did it anyway, and I ended up picking up the DVD later on. Um, and uh, uh, he uh, just let me watch it on Vimeo for free, and I reviewed it. So there you go. That's how I have it from the director, Scarlet Fry. Um, anyway, uh, the movie itself is an anthology with five uh, shorts, and each one lasts maybe 12 to 14 minutes. They're pretty short. The overall running time is like 70 minutes for the entire film. It's introduced by uh, this guy. I don't know what he is, and this disembodied head. Um, apparently this is after the Ebola virus wiped out almost the entire planet. They just introduced five stories then. Now, the first story is about the guy with the fastball, the pitcher who can throw 150 miles an hour. He kills somebody, kills the catcher. The catcher's brother comes back and kills him years later. Um, shit, I can't remember all the stories in here. Oh yeah, Cannibal Pen Pals, the one guy with the Jeffrey Dahmer fascination who, uh, uh, becomes his own Jeffrey Dahmer, I guess you could say. The third story was the April Fool's Day, uh, one where they, um, were terrorizing that friend of theirs. He ended up overdosing, and then they were going to uh, steal his gold teeth to uh, and his silver in his teeth so they can sell it for drugs. Um, but they were porcelain, so that didn't work. Uh, the fourth story, uh, oh yeah, septic shock. The guy was in the septic tank. I can't figure that one out, and I know the director explained it to me. I think you left a comment on my previous YouTube channel in the comment section about what happened in that one, because he had a fun this set of keys which eventually led to an explosion, and um, I guess he didn't get out. That was, I guess, his brain and eye and stuff that ended up in the toilet. Um, but I can't remember exactly how he explained that, what happened. Uh, some some sort of gas or something? I don't remember. So if you're watching this, uh, Mr. Fry, let me know. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, and the fifth one is the drive-in one where uh, the uh, woman uh, goes crazy on the guy because the movie tells her to do so, kills him. And then she goes after the guy in the movie, and that's how the movie ends, basically. So anyway, five shorts. Uh, they're not bad. Um, you know, it is it is what it is. They're okay for what they are. Definitely an indie indie film. And if you like indie horror, you'll probably like this one, too. No nudity. Plenty of gore, though. Um, some guts. Some disembodied eyeballs. Uh, yeah, it's got a whole... And a turtle. So anyway, check it out. It's called Scream Machine. Um, when I picked this up maybe four years ago or so, there was only like a couple copies left on Amazon, so I don't know if it's still there anymore, but if it is, I'll leave a link to it down below. Check it out, leave some comments, let me know what you think about it. Scream Machine, watch it. Bye.